Hey everybody, welcome back to the ST3D video. Today we're going to be doing a quick tip on how to unclog your nozzle quick and fast. Alright guys, so what you want to do first is go ahead and find some kind of pliers, clamps, crimpers, something that you can go and hold your nozzle with like so, so you don't have to touch it. Then you want to go and get a heat gun. Now if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer or blow dryer, but the temperature on that doesn't get too hot, therefore it might take you a very long time to get that heated up. So I'd probably recommend something like this. A heat gun you can go buy it, it's pretty cheap, like 12, 15 bucks. But you just keep uh, wiggling it around, moving, you know, doing the shake dance. And once you feel competent or you feel like the filament inside is softened, what you want to do is go and turn that off and go and grab one of these uh, curved, I forgot the name of it, but these curved little pointy-ended things and stick it in there and pull it out. Now I tried to pull it out my, with my hands and apparently that didn't go too well. So what you want to do is go ahead and use one of these here, insert it a little bit and pull it out. The reason I'm able to insert that is when you heat something up it tends to bubble over or rise and therefore giving it a little bit of gap in the middle and that's why I'm able to stick this uh, needle nose pin whatever it is in there to take it out. So here's my third attempt just to go ahead and grab it out real quick and there we go guys it's that easy notice the shape is pure solid as far as how the filament goes in and there you go now if you look right here you can actually see a little white light coming through the nozzle showing you that it is completely clear and there's nothing wrong with it normally I would just throw the nozzle away and use a new one but this is a mk8 nozzle that i paid like 20 bucks for so i wanted to actually get this cleared out well i hope you guys enjoyed that quick tip video something i ran across and i just found it super easy before i used to put it in a solution and i used to do the hot and cold method which is on my other video if you want to know what that is um, this is just a lot easier guys heat it up pull it out Stick it right back on and you're back to print. It takes less than 10 minutes. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom, guys. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't, then hey, give it a down. But if you have questions, comments, leave them down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And like always, ladies and gentlemen, good luck and happy printing.